morning. I'm Randy Grunewald. This is my wife, Karen. We want to welcome our governor, Christy Noem. Thank her for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Good morning. It's so good to see all of you. Thank you for coming. This is a really special day in South Dakota today, and I appreciate having all of you and all these kiddos right up here in the front. But um, I'm Governor Christy Nome, and I want to thank Randy and Karen for opening up their butcher shop today so we can make this very special announcement here in the state of South Dakota to really save families during this difficult time of inflation and higher costs that are going up and especially affecting their gas, energy, and food costs. I do have a couple of special guests with me. Uh, I've got the Lieutenant Governor, Larry Roden, is here today. You can welcome him if you'd like. I also have the Commissioner of Economic Development, uh, Steve Westra, is with us today. And we have two legislators that are here as well, Helene Duhamel and Mary Fitzgerald, which are out here as well. You guys can come over and stand if you'd like to. It's up to you. You don't have to be the center of attention if you don't want to. But um, Listen, today we're talking about cutting taxes in the state of South Dakota and saving families, saving their budgets, their grocery bills, and also their pocketbooks. What we've seen is that we have had so many families across the state of South Dakota recently that have been struggling. They've been struggling to make ends meet because across this country, we're seeing President Joe Biden's failed extreme agenda and policies driving up costs. From the way he's approached the pandemic to the way he approaches business and overregulation to his relationships or lack of relationships with companies and businesses that put the food on the table to his persecution of farmers and ranchers that we see here in, this, in the state of South Dakota where we literally grow this nation and this world's food. Um, it has been extremely difficult to be able to stay on top of a growing economy wide in our nation. But that's not our story here in South Dakota. We have the strongest economy in the country in our state. Incomes here are going up faster than anywhere else. But as I still walk up and down main streets of towns of any size across our state, what I'm hearing from families is they can't believe how much groceries cost. They cannot believe how much meat has risen, how much dairy products have gone up, how much even just picking up a box of cereal is so different than it was a year ago, how different it has been since President Biden went into office and was put in the White House. Listen, gas has gone up $1.30 just since Joe Biden took office. But that isn't the only thing that's skyrocketing. We've had a gallon of milk that's increased 20% than when he was first sworn in. Now listen, I was in a grocery store yesterday, a gallon of milk was $4.50. I talked to somebody that day who had bought a gallon of milk at a grocery store in our state that was $8. We've seen a pound of ground beef go up 25% since this administration has taken over. Right now, a pound of ground beef averages $4.94 in a grocery store when people are trying to purchase it to feed their families. And if you look at the cost of a dozen eggs, this is unbelievable to me. A cost of a dozen eggs has gone up 113% since Joe Biden has been in the White House. I looked at a dozen of eggs uh, at a grocery store yesterday is $4.50. And that's a staple that so many families use every single day. Senior citizens, working parents, single moms are really working hard to make sure they're doing the right thing for their families, making sure they're making responsible decisions like people always do here in our state, not taking on debt and not uh, overspending, but when it gets to be harder and harder and harder for them to do so because of policies that are out of their control, it's my job as governor to protect them. One of my jobs in, in this state has always been to build stronger families, to also go out and to fight federal government intrusion, and we're taking action on that today. I'm thankful that South Dakota is doing better than virtually any other state. Our incomes are going up faster than anywhere else in the country. Um, they also, our families still need relief, even though that's going on. So today, I am promising that we will follow through and deliver the largest tax cut in the history of the state of South Dakota. Today, I am promising. I 
I am promising that we will repeal the grocery food tax on all grocery items in the state of South Dakota so that we can bring relief to our families. This tax cut in the past has received broad support from legislators. I'm looking forward to them helping me get this across the finish line as well, and I trust that we will get it done. Listen, our strong revenues and our strong economy in South Dakota allow us to do this because we've taken conservative fiscal management and used it to benefit our families here. We have the fastest growth in our economy, the strongest economy. We also have the fastest growth in new housing developments that are happening across the state, and it's going up faster here than anywhere else in the na nation. We have a 2.3% unemployment rate in our state. In fact, today we have less than 500 people in the entire state that are on unemployment. <laughs> and listen to this, and our state revenues have been breaking records for growth since I've been governor. Our sales tax revenues went up 12% last year. We had a $115.5 million budget surplus. Our state's reserves fund has grown 422.6 million. That's more than 20% of our budget. And we put historic amounts into those reserve funds to be prepared for the future. But listen, all of that money isn't the government's. It's the people of South Dakota's money. It belongs to those people. And we need to look for opportunities to always allow people to keep more money in their pockets. And throughout my time in public service, I have dedicated my efforts towards cutting taxes and making sure that people have more freedom to decide for themselves on how best to take care of their families. You all know my personal story, that the reason that I even ran for office was because my family got hit with the death tax when we lost my dad. It was a very unfair tax that I knew I couldn't just complain about. I needed to be a part of fixing it. When I got elected to the state legislature, the Lieutenant Governor and I worked on cutting property taxes, making sure we had a more fair system for our farmers and our ranchers when it came to ag land across this state. When I got to Congress, uh, I worked on the tax cut bill that we worked with the previous administration that allowed South Dakota families to keep another $2,400 in their pocket every single year by delivering them relief from the federal government burden that they were facing. We just learned that Fitch, one of the credit rating companies, has reaffirmed and confirmed our AAA credit rating. Because of the good management and conservative approach that we have taken towards our budget and our finances here in the state. In fact, they credited our approach to COVID, the fact that we did not shut down, that we allowed our economy to keep working, and they credited the way that we've made decisions on how we spend dollars and how we approach being prepared for anything that may come our way in the future. We will continue to take the same approach if I'm given the opportunity to serve as your governor another four years. We will continue to do the right thing for South Dakota because it's important for our future, it's important for this state and its foundation, but it's incredibly important for the families that live here. We are continuously able to do historic things because of the people that live in this state. So not only today are we grateful for the people that live here and all that they do, we also recognize that we're facing challenges from this federal government. We're facing challenges ahead from President Joe Biden and how he's approaching our economy. And today we are cutting taxes. The largest tax cut in South Dakota's history, it'll be over $100 million worth of tax cuts that'll go directly into families to help them with their budgets. For everybody across the state, I hope they realize that we're not just cutting taxes, though. We're saving families. So thank you for being here. I wanted you to hear from a couple of those families today, and I wanted to see if Denise would come up and share a little bit of her story on why a tax cut like this is so important and so important right now. If you'd welcome Denise, that'd be great. I, I am a mother, parent with three children, my husband and I. They were all in their 20s. They have all graduated from college, but they are struggling. The cost of living for our kids is astronomical from when we were younger and starting out. Um, I, we sit around the dinner table. Our children talk about we can't afford to live. 
We can't afford the cost of rent. We can't afford groceries, gas, all of it. It is just becoming an unbearable burden for our young adults. And so we are excited to hear this because the groceries is a huge piece of our living expenses and our kids just cannot afford and our young adults cannot afford these increases in costs as they're getting hit everywhere, whether it's the gas, um, groceries, even dining out. They're not able to dine out, a lot of them. So this is going to be a huge relief for these kids. This is going to be a big break. It's going to help them navigate the waters as we continue to try to work through this recession and this economy that's affecting all of us. So thank you so much, Governor Noam. This is a huge gift to our young adults. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. I also had, wanted to ask one more person to come up and share with you today. Jennifer, would you come up and share? Let's welcome her. Well, thank you, first of all, Governor Nome. I think it's really refreshing to be living in a state with a governor who is addressing these issues. Um, I think we've all heard from the national level that inflation isn't as big of a deal as we all think it is. Uh, but from my experience, this is the first time ever in my life that I've been at events where um, parents are talking about the cost of food. And it's been an eye opener to me to hear parents saying, well, I, you know, we've had to cut our budget. And then um, I have three children who are active in sports and other activities. And we've had families that have had to stop. They've had to pull their children out of the teams, out of the travel soccer teams, out of the travel gymnastics teams, because that's the difference. So if they have 4.5% more dollars per month in their budget, that might make the difference in these kids being able to go out and do these sorts of events that are, you know, really, really expand those children and help with their future. So I think it's a huge deal. It's a really tangible solution that's going to put money into the pockets of the people who need it most in South Dakota. And so we're really excited. And um, the whole crew here, it's a lot of families, a lot of homeschool families who are looking forward and, you know, it will definitely benefit them and being able to spend that money more directly on um, things that will benefit their children and make South Dakota stronger in the future. So thank you so much. It's really exciting. I was speaking with one of our grocery store owners yesterday, and he was showing us how just one day of cost increases on average throughout his store was 14.4%. So while we see um, at the national level the cost to our grocery store owners, the cost to our businesses that are trying to keep food on the shelves is going up um, so much and astronomically on a daily basis, he says the thing that was the saddest to me was that he said my only option to do is to pass that on to the consumer to pass that on to the families. Today we're going to be passing on this tax cut to these families today too. I'm grateful that they'll soon have relief. It'll be a little easier for them to make their budgets, prioritize those dollars into going into that new winter coat for their kiddos or maybe buying a new pair of shoes for one of them instead of paying these taxes on food like they always have done. Today's a good day in the state of South Dakota and we are saving families. Now I'll open it up to any questions you may have. I know, I am standing pretty good, aren't I? I I've uh, been working to stand for a little bit, but I had back surgery uh, almost three weeks ago now, and I'm doing really good. I'll be 100% in the no time, in the blink of an eye. Thank you. Other questions? How about from you guys? Any kids got questions? No? Huh? Are you super excited that, like, Wheat bread and Brussels sprouts are going to be cheaper now? Good. I figured you would be, right? Well, thank you all for coming, and I'll get to stay around to visit with all of you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.